Hey guys, it's Michael from Chess Lifestyle and uh, for today's video I basically challenged one of the popular Shoki streamers currently, um, this dude called It's Nyrock and he streams every Tuesday and his streams are actually so entertaining. Even before I actually got to speak to him, like as I watched some of his old streams and I had so much fun um, just like re-watching the chat and the whole stream in general. So. If you are interested in Shogi, like 100% check it out, like it's definitely worth it. Um, and yeah, like during uh, his most, uh, his last stream, uh, last Tuesday, um, I got the chance to actually play him. And uh, in his video, he was basically doing um, a ranking tier of the different castles in Shogi. And um, the best way to describe castling in Shogi, it's like different defensive setups for your king. But in chess, you kind of just like go with the flow. Like you even have like a, you either have a fianchetto with the bishop or maybe you create a little window with like, uh, let's say you castle kingside and you push the pawn to h3. Those two would be different types of castles. But in shogi, there's more like, I don't know, like 15 types of castles. And the different types of castles you would want to set up depending on what castle your opponent set up or what opening they went for. So it's, more of a cat and mouse game and it gets a bit more confusing and it's like a tier like deeper than openings in chess if that makes any sense but yeah basically it's nyrock was doing a stream on tearing the castles and um he had to play uh, a middle castle or something uh, i'm probably forgetting um but yeah he had to play some weird castle and so that gave me kind of like some sort of advantage because um, he didn't really know the opening or the castle too well, it was like the first time he was playing it. But still, um, I actually uh, played a really really nice game, or at least I'm very proud of it, and I thought I'd share that with you today. And yeah, hope you enjoy uh, this small section of uh, his stream, uh, and thanks to It's Night Rock for letting me use it in this video. So yeah, enjoy! You see the bottom left over here? You just see my name pop up? Uh, it's subscribe, by the way. That is the name of my <laughs> of my profile. Uh, just a reminder uh, to subscribe. But uh, <laughs> and then you just double click and press challenge if you're online right now. Are you pot noodle chef? I don't think you're pot noodle chef. I feel like I already played him earlier. I'm sorry, Pot Noodle Chef. I'm waiting on someone. Sent you a challenge. Oh, you are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> All right, send send me the send me the challenge again. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to be building a classic castle. Good luck, Chess Lifestyle. Thank you for the muting me. I know you can't, I don't even know why I'm saying thank you. <laughs> e Destiny. All right. I think I have to play Static Rook here. I could play Opposing Rook, that'd be kind of fun. Like, now that I'm muted, I can, I can say. Uh, the castle we are on is Central House. So, I think I should work on that sooner than later. I assume Central House is just here, two silvers and then two golds, right? I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I never really looked it up. I assume Central House showed you. Central House. Yeah, yeah. I assume this is Central House, right? Can everyone agree with that? Central House versus Central Rook. <laughs> hey, we gotta judge how strong this castle is. If it falls to a mere, a mere Central Rook, then why, can it even be considered a castle at that point? All right. Oh! I exited out of my, my stream. Hold on. Uh, 
Let's see, King 5A. I'll do it in a second. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do 5A in a second. I'm just, I'm just trying to get something started. I kind of want to play... Oh, it's not central. Okay, I kind of want to play... Fruity Bisha. And then play central house from here. I'll figure it out as I go, but right, <laughs> I, I just, I don't know how I'm going to attack if my silvers are right here. <laughs> I did not insult Central Rook. Oh no, he's playing an Ashino! <laughs> Alright, he's playing an Ashino. I love it, I love it. <laughs> he told me, okay, so on his YouTube channel, uh, I messaged him in the in his comments. I said, "Hey, if you ever want to play Shogi sometime, let's do it." Um, and he replied with, "Hey, I am playing Udashino a lot. We should play." <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to actually pull out Udashino right now. I'll do an Edge Bishop to try to counter it. My, I, <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> At least third file does well against Udashino, as long as I play it defensively. Even even twisting rook plays bald Mino and not central. <laughs> Pretty Mino shit. I'm trying, Lily, I'm trying. We're judging the castle, we're not judging my attack. We're judging the general idea of the attack, like what pieces you should attack with. Um so I guess in this case, you wouldn't really have a general to attack with, would you? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> if he does king over, smart. He knows how, He knows what he's doing. He's playing Udashino well. He, he pushes pawn. I can't take it. Gold on top is really good against Udashino. Uh, so I'm, I'm not terribly upset right now. But well, we built Central House, sort of. I need to adjust my camera. It's not the show yours cam. I need to put it down. Okay. The attack commences. If I play Edge Bishop, he pushes, which is smart. I take Silver. The trade doesn't seem worth it. What do I do now? <laughs> what do I do? What do I do now? I'm just gonna back up the rook. He's gotta get through this area first anyway. I wanna play edge bishop, but an edge attack... Man. Two story house. Did I do it wrong? I thought... <laughs> I think this is the basic idea of central house. Is it, is it not? It has gold Mino in it. That's kind of cool. <laughs> um, now I can do Bishop up because if he pushes, I take. And if he takes, then I take. And if he takes the Bishop, then I push. And then I get his Bishop to back up. And then I win the edge also. It's a crazy out there strategy, but I, I don't know what to do from here. <laughs> My theory is, if I push Bishop, he'll push Edge Pawn because he's a smart player, right? And then, if he pushes Edge Pawn, I sack my Bishop. And because he's a smart player, he will take it with his silver. <laughs> and then I'll take... Pawn? Which helps with my attack. I lose the Edge, that's okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I could just wait. I could just wait it out. Play third file. I could just wait it out, play third file. But if he switches to third file, I'm going to be pretty upset. I have to read like six head for this bishop sack. Or we could wait. Or we could wait. I'm going to wait. <laughs> you could turn this into Twisting Rook from below. I don't know Twisting Rook at all. I've never even like seen it played against me. I'm very curious. 
it won't go on the castle tier list but if i do like another opening tier list or something crazy i need to i need to look at it I can't believe I'm in a tournament right now because I feel like I'm progressively getting worse at Shogi. <laughs> and now we have to stall him out because gold gold on top is really good against Odish, you know, smart. Okay. Okay, new plan. Sunglasses off. Nobody from overseas knows Twisting Rook. That's true. If Hidechi doesn't mention it, no one knows it, which I find hilarious. It's, it's true for me, too. I don't... <laughs> I only find weird strategies from just, like, anywhere else. Thank you for the follow, too, Finn, Finn V 21 21 is my lucky number, so I like that you have that number. Welcome to the... Welcome to the Shogi world. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know Twisting Rook at all. Lily, you're gonna have to send me like a Kifu of you playing it. Um, okay. I do Bishop here. His logical move should be push edge. I take. He sacks silver. I push up. And then he takes edge. And then I push gold. You know what? Life is made for crazy experiences. Hello from Ukraine. Wow. Welcome. I, what? Is Ukrainian a language? <laughs> I'm so sorry if it's not. I feel like it is. I feel like Ukrainian. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't know much about Europe, the Europe era area. Please be in Europe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm learning. We learn together. <laughs> I genuinely, it's very different from Russian. Okay, I thought it was similar to Russian. Okay. As he says, it's different. I, I, I know it's in that field. Like the very different. Okay. I know it's in that field of like speaking. I just didn't know it. I didn't, I didn't know too much about it. Don't switch to the third file. Don't switch to the third file. Don't switch. No. He's playing so well. All right. You're doing good chess lifestyle. I got to play with a measly central house. All right. I unplugged my headphones again. <laughs> Alright. Alright, what do I do now? Hmm. That was very smart, switching to third file. It's between Poland and Russia. Oh, well, welcome. I, I hope you enjoy the stream. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to be more knowledgeable of Europe. I, I'm glad you enjoy Shogi. There are a lot of uh, Shogi tournaments actually in Russia from what I saw. Is that true? I, I, it feels like every tournament I see is either in Poland or Russia and it's crazy. They, yet they've never had like a US Open, which is fair. <laughs> I take, 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 take. No matter what, a bishop sack would be good here, right? Take, 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 rook takes. I push gold up and I have the advantage, right? He backs up rook. I drop pawn and I'm winning third file. Am I not? Yeah, I sack up. Yeah, I'm doing it. Damn. Sounds cooler. <laughs> I don't know anything about languages. Only language I barely know is... I know some Spanish because in Texas, I'm sure it's the same around the rest of the U.S. Uh, you're required to take like foreign languages in high school. So I took Spanish in high school because um, the, all they offered was Spanish and French. I don't really have a... I don't really care about going to France and I live in Texas, so I'm closer to like Spanish speaking areas. So I took Spanish for three or four years. And then I went to college and started taking Japanese. Now, no matter what he takes with, I just push gold up and it covers it. And now I have a silver drop too, and he has no castle. That's the weakness of Udoshino, is he has, he has no castle. Sure, I'm in Central House, but that's okay. <laughs> Do I also probably should not consider this as a castle? Yes. Mm. 
No one plays Shogi here? Oh. I'm sure you can just fly on, drive on over, boat on, get to Russia somehow, and then <laughs> and enter the tournaments there. I don't know if, I don't, I can't picture the map. I don't know where Ukraine is. Narek is good with English, but fluent in worse English. What is that? What does that mean, Lily? <laughs> I don't know what that means. What if you did like bishop drop here? That would be bad. No, it wouldn't be terrible. Smart. I kind of want. I kind of want to move rook back up. <laughs> I I'll do it in a second. I'll move rook back up in a second. Or should I do it now? <laughs> I kind of like Central House. He can't drop a bishop anywhere. I'm kind of liking this. I mean, right here he can because I messed up. You're in Houston, Golden Ambience? Holy crap. I'm in College Station. I go to A&M. If you ever want to play Shogi, uh, me and Tommy play Shogi here. <laughs> if you ever come down, let me know. I like IRL Shogi a lot more than online Shogi. But our options are limited. Okay, so if I... I'm gonna do Rook back up now. Holy crap! <laughs> Y'all, you can do a Shogi meetup! <laughs> I, I hope I'm not leading someone to their death right now. I hope both of y'all are really genuinely good people. <laughs> I, hope, I hope no one's like planning anything crazy. Houston Shogi meetup? You know, that'd be fun. That would actually be fun. Okay, now he takes. I push up gold. I wanted him to take because I didn't want a pawn in my way. Okay. Push pawn. Alright, let's see if the third file rook versus Ureshino works out. I don't have a bishop. All I have is a silver drop. But, I feel like I have a much stronger castle here. People make fun of Indiana with a name that means land of the Indians. I have, I've never heard of that for a name. <laughs> I feel, you could be making that up and I would not be surprised. I've never heard anyone call it that. Uh, good bishop drop, forcing me to move my rook. I move my rook. Am I move, move, move my rook down though? What, he drops pawn in front of me? Now I move over? And then he's at a stalemate. I'm still doing good covering this. I guess he could take to a trade, but his king's in a bad spot, so he doesn't want to trade right now. I could drop silver, be more defensive here, and then continue pushing. Nah, we'll, we'll back up. Oh, if we go forward. No, he gets knight. We'll back up. If he drops pawn, it's okay. We'll just move over. We'll do a little scoop. Ania and Anna are land of Sylvain- what? <laughs> I know Japan is like land of the rising sun. I know Florida is like home of the oranges. Um, I know Texas is like the lone star state and like we do everything by ourselves but really we can't really do anything by ourselves because the winter snowstorm literally took out the entire country. <laughs> the entire country. The entire state. It's been a mess. <laughs> if I did silver drop here, he does bishop here, and then I pawn push, and then his bishop's dead. Um, don't let that happen. I don't care if he pawn drops here. Pawn drop there is obnoxious, but it's not the end of the world. I can just do knight. Hmm. I do like that pawn drop. This bishop's annoying. I need to block the bishop diagonal and just let him have it. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. 
<laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. How often do you make lives? I've never made a life before. <laughs> I, I, I was born. Um, I've never, like, physically, I've never really made a life before, actually. Come to think of it. Oh, okay. Bishop Sack, I like it. I like it. I like this. I like this a lot. Hold on, I need a pause. Um, yeah, that was Pokemon Coliseum music. No kids? Yeah, I don't have any kids. <laughs> I like this attack. I like this attack. Um, hey, but we have Gold Mino to run into, so that's kind of cool. No matter where I run with my king, it's a silver drop. If I run here, though, it's not the end of the world. Silver drop doesn't do too much. We'll try it. If he attacks the head... Ooh. Ooh. Attacking the head might be really good for him here. My king is very far away from his central house. You make life and go. That's true. <laughs> you don't do that in this game. <laughs> I, 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 I saw G when was the last time you made life and I was just like, huh? <laughs> like, I hope I've never done that. I feel like I've tried avoiding that pretty well, but I don't know. I could, I could have messed up a few times. You know, I'm like a Lance. I never know when to walk away. No, Lances don't. It's not that they don't know when. It's just that they can't. Like they're, they're physically like. To that point where, the, ooh, wow, what an attack. What an attack. I really like this. And we'll see where it goes. If I do, ooh, wow. Wow. This is bad. <laughs> Because no matter what I block with, it's silver here, and that's a pretty strong threat, mate. Or gold here, and I'm forced to back up. Silver here is a strong threat, mate. That's the key word, threat, mate. So I'm going to do pawn. Because if I can avoid the threat, mate, then that's... I might be able to do something good with this. Okay, gold. <laughs> Silver drop here, he gets a free rook, and he, and he wins. Yeah? No? Okay, so let's rate Central House. Um, Pretty crappy. <laughs> do I have mate? Hold on, do I have mate? I have, like, a threat mate, barely. Yeah, that's GG. Yeah, that's resign. GG's... I'll play it out. I'll play it out, though. Central House is situational. Yeah. That, yeah. Honestly, it doesn't look like a bad castle in itself, but the fact that it uses four generals... Weird. I guess he's wanting to keep me in check here. Push edge. Does he not want my rook? Oh, no. The pawn helps. Because if he takes, and then I take silver, it's mate. Wow! He played so good! That was fantastic! That was fantastic. Wow, chess lifestyle. So chess lifestyle is a chess player. Moving over to the world of Shogi. Great game. Amazing game. Game. Amazing game. Central house. <laughs> not a, not the best castle in the world. GG's. Chess lifestyle, you played fantastic. When did you start playing Shogi? I know you I know you've been playing chess for a long time, but when did you start playing Shogi? N a beginner would have not found this move ever. I didn't see a mate. There's totally a mate there. You had mate in like six different ways. Look, I'll show. Um, I mean, you probably saw it. You take with silver here, which is super smart cuz you keep me in check, force me to respawn. If I move up, um, and if I move up, 
can sack rook, or you can just honestly play it slow at that point because I couldn't find a mate. But if I take, it was mate. Like, ah, oh, you played fantastic. You you just started last Saturday. You just started. Holy crap! Uh, like the 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 move that impressed me the most was the this bishop sack. That was I, I literally I was thinking to myself I was like okay so he's new to shogi but he's already a five Q. There's no way he finds this bishop sack though. And you found it. And I was just like well I lose. <laughs> like that was good. I that was really good. Fantastic game man. You 100% deserve the win. All right. So that was it. Uh, my best ever game of Shogi thus far, I think. Um, and yeah, like I've actually um, uh, played, I actually played my first ever tournament game today and it was actually grueling. Uh, <laughs> it was a 200 game, uh, sorry, 200 move thriller um, where over 150 of the moves were played on increment and it was just like the most complicated mess ever and my brain literally was ready to just shut down <laughs> because like it's different to chess where like um, even if you I don't know like in a, in a normal game you like build up time you have time to think you can just like relax you can daydream a bit like go for a walk in shogi like this rapid kind of time control in Shogi, it's like once you get to a certain point, dude, it's like, I don't know, like three quarters of the game, the rest of the game is just on increment and you have to calculate like these bloody insane checkmates in like, I don't know, in under a minute. And it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know, like uh, during the tournament game, like, I had like someone ring my door, but I, I don't know, it was just, it was just it was just dreadful. Uh, so anyway, I lost. I lost my first tournament game in the Tony to Showdown, and but it was a very, it was a very fun game. So yeah, to be honest, I'm having great fun with Shogi. Um, I'm having great fun with Crazy House actually on my chess as well. And thankfully, I'm still studying um, some chess as well. Like I um, uh, today, I also did um, an opening. Uh, cinema on the Sicilian Trashnikov and around five Chess Lifestyle viewers turned up so I was very very happy uh, for them to join and I really hope um, more people can join in the future so that will be probably every Sunday and you can find out all the details in the Chess Lifestyle Discord. Uh, so yeah come join the community and uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like it really helps out with the algorithm and yeah um, if you can subscribe, even better, and definitely make sure to follow, uh, who knows, even subscribe to It's Nyrock on Twitch. He streams every Tuesday, and it, he's just a lot of fun. So, um, and lovely guy as well. So yeah, go do that, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.